Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is our school of manners. He did not teach us only one manner or two. He taught us how to live in this life with everyone, with the friends, with the wife, the husband, with the children, even with the enemy. Also with animals. Can you imagine, brothers and sisters, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa told us also how, or he taught us how to treat the animals. Subhanallah. Let's take one of the hadith which teaches us the manners of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa or one of the manners of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa which is the patience. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in the hadith that Allah wants good for a person, he tests him with afflictions. If, the, if Allah wants good with a person, he will test him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test him with affliction. Subhanallah. I like, it is like the school, brothers and sisters. If I want to know which is a good student, who is the A student, I will test them. Take this exam. Take this equation. And I will make it more difficult for the A plus students. So the same way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he wants to raise the faith of a person, he will test him because he knows that he is a strong believer. So don't worry, brothers, sisters, don't worry. If you go through calamities, don't give up. Don't say, oh Allah, why I am suffering now? You should think that Allah wants to test you. And if you pass this exam, Allah will raise your level in paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give more reward for those people who are more patient. Who are the people are tested more, have more calamities? The prophets, alayhim salatu As he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ashaddu nas tilal anbiya, who are tested the highest? The prophets, alayhim salatu wa sallam. Why? Because Allah will give them more reward. So if you are tested with very difficult and tough uh, calamities, it means Allah wants to give you more reward. So we learn from this hadith to be patient. If you have any calamity, be patient. Don't say anything bad. Don't say, oh Allah, why? Why? You should say, oh Allah, alhamdulillah. All praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This was the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If he had anything he doesn't like, he will say, Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. All praise to Allah for anything. Always we say, Alhamdulillah, which means all praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the behavior of the believer. And this is one of the conduct and the manners we learn from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we say, Alhamdulillah. Do you know if you say, Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah, this will fill the scale with a lot of reward. As he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Alhamdulillah, tamla al mizan. Saying all praise to Allah, saying Alhamdulillah, it will fill the scale. It means with the reward. So we learn from this, this hadith that being patient will give you more reward. How can I be patient or how should I be patient? Maybe some people will ask, what should I do to be patient? Number one, we say, Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah. Number two, if there is an action I should take toward this calamity, I should, I should do it. For example, if there is a disease, I should seek for a treatment. I have a fever, take for example a paracetamol. I have a stomach ache, maybe I need to go and uh, to visit a, a doctor, okay? Uh, I have uh, a problem with my uh, husband, with my wife, maybe I need to consult uh, the imam of the masjid or someone who, are, who is experienced to uh, release the conflict between the husband and wife. I mean, we should take an action, it should be the correct uh, action. Also, not to object, not to say anything bad about the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the shaitan tells you, Allah hates you. Allah doesn't like you. Allah this and this. Why? Because he made this calamity for you. Don't understand. If I had a car accident or if I failed my exam or I failed my business, I lost my business, it means Allah hates me. No, Allah wants to test me and I should do 
what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants me to do according to the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Brothers, sisters, this is the end of this episode. Hope to see you tomorrow, inshallah, with a new hadith. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.